Know the top stories of the day. Understand the issues that matter. This is Manila Bulletin News on Web. Your quick rundown of top news in the country and around the world. Manila Bulletin, celebrating 120 years of timely stories and timeless truths. Be fully informed. Hi, I'm Barbie Atienza. This is MB Now, and here are your news on web. The Metro Manila Council will convene this week to decide on whether or not to recommend to the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases to extend the enhanced community quarantine in the National Capital Region Plus or shift to the modified ECQ. In a radio interview, MMC Chairman and Paranaque City Mayor Edwin Olivares said that their recommendation will be based on the data that will be provided by the Department of Health and the City Epidemiology and Disease Surveillance Unit of the cities and municipalities in the NCR+. He added that capacities of hospitals will also be considered by the MMC in its recommendation. Due to the spike in coronavirus disease cases, President Duterte approved the extension of ECQ in the NCR Plus for another week, which started on April 5. The shift to MECQ by next week is possible, according to the Okta Research Group. Okta Research Fellow Dr. David Guido said this will depend on the case reproduction rate if it goes down to 1.2 or even 1.1 or even 1 by the end of the second week of ECQ. The NCR's reproduction rate is at 1.53 as of April 5. People who receive the coronavirus vaccines are considered spared from the disease but must still observe health precautions, according to a palace official. Presidential spokesman Harry Roque said vaccinated persons, especially those who just had the first shot, still need to wear a mask and keep a safe distance from others, even as the vaccines provide some protection from the illness. He maintained that there was still no room for complacency, even for those vaccinated. Health authorities earlier claimed that vaccination was important to protect people from getting severe coronavirus disease. Since the arrival of the initial batch of vaccines in the country, the government has launched its free immunization drive in early March. Health workers, seniors, and those with comorbidity or existing health ailments have been a priority in the vaccination line. Based on the report of vaccines are Carlito Galvez Jr., 826,607 Filipinos have been vaccinated so far. Of this figure, 783,085 health workers got their free inoculations. The government aims to inoculate 70 million Filipinos before the end of the year. The country earlier received 2.5 million doses of vaccines, including 1 million Sinovac doses purchased by the government, 1 million donated by China, and 525,600 AstraZeneca doses from the World Health Organization-led COVAX facility. Well, uh, tingin ko po na lahat po ng nabakunahan are individuals spared from the uh, disease. No? Pero ang ating warning po, no, lalo na dun sa mga first shot pa lang, eh, hindi po kaagad nagkakaroon ng epekto yan. No? It takes uh, weeks bago makaepekto po yan. So patuloy pa rin po ang mas hugas iwas. No? Uh, wag po tayo magpapabaya bagamat tayo po ay nabakunahan na. The Philippines is filing another diplomatic protest against China for the continued stay of Chinese vessels at Julian Felipe Reef in the West Philippine Sea, according to Foreign Affairs Secretary Teodoro Loxin Jr. Lawmakers, however, believed that diplomatic protests, even if filed daily, would not stop Chinese vessels from intruding in Philippine waters as proven by its pattern of behavior. Senator Panfilo Lacson, in a statement, said diplomatic protests may not be too helpful anymore as China continues to ignore the same. Laxon added that while it is a standard document used to call the attention of the other party, 
China's consistent attitude of taking for granted such action taken by the DFA reduces it to a mere point of information. Senator Risa Ontiveros echoed Laxon's statement even as she sees the need for international pressure against Beijing as diplomatic protests seem to have fallen on deaf ears. In Metro News, Mayor Isco Moreno that questions delay in delivery of Pfizer COVID-19 vaccines. Mandaluyan City halts vaccination of senior citizens after AstraZeneca vials run out. And Pasig Mayor Vico Soto featured in Rice Farmers' Paddy Art. More from this report. Manila Mayor Francisco Isco Moreno Dumagoso is questioning the delay in the arrival of the supplies of the COVID-19 vaccine made by the American biopharmaceutical company Pfizer. Dumagoso pointed out that the Pfizer was one of the first companies to coordinate with the Philippine government officials on the delivery of vaccine supplies but has not yet to follow through on its offer. In November 2020, the Manila mayor met with Pfizer official to reaffirm his readiness to buy up to 250 million worth of COVID-19 vaccines. The Manila city government instead entered into a partnership with British-Swedish biopharmaceutical company AstraZeneca for vaccine supplies that may arrive in September 2021 at the latest. The Philippine government has yet to secure a vaccine supply deal with Pfizer. The Mandaluyong City local government announced on Wednesday, April 7 that it is temporarily halting the inoculation of senior citizens after the city's stocks of AstraZeneca vaccine has been exhausted. Only the AstraZeneca vaccine has been approved for elderly use based on the emergency use authorization issued by the Food and Drug Administration. This is due to the clinical trial done by the Europe-based company on elderly patients. Mandaluyong City Health Office said that there are around 27,000 senior citizens in Mandaluyong with more than 5,000 of them already registered registered for the city's vaccination program. Pasig City Mayor Vico Soto is the latest public figure to be featured in the Philippine Rice Research Institute Future Rice Farms Paddy Art. Future Rice Farm in a Facebook post on April 5 said it created the Vico Soto-inspired Paddy Art to salute young leaders who are rising up to build a bright and prosperous future for our nations in the best way they can. Soto was also selected as the muse for the latest Paddy Art due to the popular demand. Future Rice Farm also lauded Soto for his efforts in promoting agriculture as Pasig City Mayor, he augmented the city's vegetable supplies by buying from Benguet Farmers in April 2020. In January 2021, Soto also took part in an architecture design competition organized by the Department of Agriculture and the youth group Retera to promote urban agriculture. Here are the top news in other parts of the country. Spike in cases, ban on new social gatherings in Iloilo. Two brothers tagged as Daula Islamiyah supporters killed in South Cotabato. And LPA spotted off Mindanao to bring rain for the next three days. Here are the details. As local cases of coronavirus disease have surged after the Holy Week, social gatherings have been banned anew both in the province and city of Iloilo. This after Governor Arthur Defensor Jr. of Iloilo Province and Mayor Jerry Trenas issued new orders on Tuesday. Defensor has directed the Philippine National Police and local government officials, including barangay officials, to strictly implement the ban on social gatherings. Meanwhile, Mayor Jerry Trenas issued an executive order that outlined the protocols for a period of one week. This includes 30% workforce capacity for both private establishments and government offices in Iloilo City. Police killed two brothers who were tagged as members of a local extremist group after they allegedly tried to shoot it out when the arrest warrant was being served on one of them in Palomalok town in South Cotabato. Jonathan Utap, who was facing a string of criminal charges before a local court, were being served an arrest warrant when he and his brother Mohaimen allegedly engaged the policeman in a gun battle that resulted in their death. Authorities said that the two brothers are members of a local extremist group which supports the international terror group Daula Islamia. A new low-pressure area spotted east of Hinatuan, Surigao del Sur, will likely bring rains over the eastern section of Mindanao within three days, according to the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration or PAGASA on Wednesday, April 7. 
Weather specialist Benison Estareja said that the LPA will move slowly over the next three days westward that will bring possible rainfall in the eastern part of northern Mindanao, Caraga, Davao region, as well as in Soxargen and parts of Bangsamoro until Friday, April 9. Estareja also said that the LPA has a slim chance of developing into a tropical cyclone. In world news, Biden announces all adults in the U.S. eligible for COVID vaccine by April 19. New Zealand and Australia to open COVID travel bubble. And Japan sees earliest cherry blossoms on record as climate warms. Let's watch this. President Joe Biden announced Tuesday that all adults across America will be eligible for COVID-19 shots within two weeks, while economic powerhouse California set a June 15 target to fully reopen businesses. The positive news from the United States, which has reported the most coronavirus deaths of any country, but is now a leader in the vaccine rollout. Biden announced in a White House speech that he is moving up the deadline for all over 18 to be eligible for vaccines to April 19. The previous target had been May 1. Visiting a vaccination site in Virginia earlier, Biden said that while the worst of the pandemic is not over yet, vaccines mean it soon could be. New Zealand approved quarantine-free travel with Australia Tuesday with Prime Minister Hacinda Arden, saying a two-way corridor for travel between the two largely COVID-free nations to begin on April 18. The travel bubble comes more than a year after New Zealand closed its doors in the face of the coronavirus pandemic and six months after Australia allowed New Zealanders to fly into selected states without the need to quarantine. Ardern described it's a world-leading move between New Zealand with just 26 deaths in a population of 5 million and Australia with fewer than 1,000 deaths in a population of 25 million. New Zealand's beleaguered tourism industry said the long-awaited completion of the travel bubble could inject up to a billion dollars into the economy this year. Japan's cherries trees are reaching full bloom in record times this year, the National Weather Agency has said, linking the early sakura season to the world's warming climate. In an ancient capital of Kyoto, cherry blossoms hit their peak on March 26, 10 days sooner than average the earliest since government started taking records in 1953. On average, Tokyo's cherries trees reached full bloom on April 2. This year's capital cherries blossom peaked on March 22, a day slower than the earliest logged in 2002. Most of these designated trees are the best known and the beloved Yosino variety, known for the white pink flowers that bloom from about two weeks then fall in showers of small confetti-like petals. Japan's sakura or cherry blossom season is feverishly anticipated by locals and visitors alike, although this year foreign tourists have been kept away by virus border restrictions. In entertainment, K-pop idol group EXO's Baekhyun set a new record by selling the highest number of albums of all time by a solo artist in the first week of release. Baekhyun released his third mini-album, Bambi, on March 30, and according to Korea's Hanteo chart, the album sold 868,840 copies in the first week of release to become the number one best-selling solo album of all time. With Bambi, Big Hyun broke his own record and surpassed his second mini-album, Delight, released in May 2020, and his first mini-album, City Lights, released in July 2019. Bambi is Big Hyun's last album before enlisting in the military next month. Last April 2, he announced that he will be starting his military service on May 6. In sports, the PBA's plan to have its team and staff vaccinated remains far from clarity, even if the government is allowing private entities like the Pro League to purchase on their own. PBA Commissioner Willie Marshall said there are new no new developments with regards to the vaccination program, which could help a big way in having the league push through with its 46th season. Marshall added that private companies like the PBA will still have to go through the government in order to secure the vaccines. The PBA did, however, enter a tie-up 
with the Philippine Red Cross in late January to help the league purchase vaccines, not only for the players, but possibly their families. But there are no new developments. Without the vaccines, the PBA will have to wait for the current COVID-19 situation to subside until it can come out with a plan to open the season. However, Marshall insists that the season can still stage two conferences despite the recent setbacks. In today's Tech Talk, a mask that filters out dust as small as 0.1 microns and looks like a part of a stormtrooper's headgear? Our Manila Bulletin Tech News editor, Art Samaniego, shows us this unique face mask. Let's watch this. At first glance, our feature device today looks like a part of a stormtrooper's headgear. And just like a stormtrooper's headgear, it is battle ready to fight the dreaded coronavirus disease. Hi, I'm Art Samaniego and welcome to Tech Talk. This is the LG PuriCare wearable air purifier. With fans on both sides of the mask, it filters the air that you breathe in even more. Both of its fans have replaceable filters so that you can be sure that it can thoroughly clean the air anytime. For added safety, it also has an inner filter that cleans the air you breathe out so that you can be sure that you are not spreading virus in the air as well. The fans also directs the air you breathe out downwards so that it won't fog up your glasses. It has three airspeed settings. One is for when you are idle or just sitting in your office or at home. Second is for when you are walking and third for when you are jogging or working out. These settings guarantee that you have enough air to take in whatever your activity may be. Its face guard is made out of silicon that gives it a more comfortable fit and minimizes air leakage. Its battery can last you up to 8 hours of use and approximately around 2 hours to charge via USB Type-C cable. The LG PuriCare wearable air purifiers ear strap is soft and flexible to avoid stress in your ear or ear burn. While LG makes no claims about the mask's effectiveness against COVID-19, its H13 HEPA filters are capable of filtering out as small as 0.1 microns. The coronavirus, according to medical studies, measures approximately 0.125 microns in diameter. With the ease of use and comfortable to wear, you can be sure that you are in a battle gear to fight this pandemic. Plus, it's cool to look like a stormtrooper on a daily basis. And that is Tech Talk for this week. Join us again next week for more tech updates. This is Art Samaniego and this is Tech Talk. Be fully informed. As the Manila Bulletin continues to mourn the passing of our dear editor-in-chief, Mr. Crispolo Julio June Iqban Jr., messages of sympathies from influential people from various sectors have continued pouring in. Here are some of their messages. Kami nakikidalamati sa buong pamilya ni Jun Iqban. Ako yung nakikidalamati ni sa ating sambayanan na pagkawala at pagkasawi ni John Iqban. Isang responsable media man na aking nakilala, nakatrabaho, naging kaibigang matalik. Siguro mga limang pong taong ko nang kilala si John Iqban. And I'm very, very sad and sorry to hear his untimely, untimely passing away.
Today, April 7, 2021, the Manila Bulletin also remembers the life, the leadership, and the death of Don Emilio T. Yap, former chairman of the Manila Bulletin Publishing Corporation. May he always rest in peace. And those are the news on web today, April 7, 2021. For more news and details, get your copy of the Manila Bulletin newspaper tomorrow or log on to www.mb.com.ph. You may also subscribe to our newsletter through the link on this video's caption to have the day's latest news delivered to your inbox. I am Barbie Atienza for Manila Bulletin. Join us again tomorrow. This has been MB Now. Be fully informed.